I'm Mark Gurman with Bloomberg Technology, and on this week's episode of Power On, I'll be taking a look at Google's upcoming Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro phones and how they'll compete with the next generation competitors from Apple and Samsung. For this year, Google is making major changes to its devices, and they plan to launch an entry-level model with aluminum edges, as well as a higher-end Pro model with a telephoto camera, a bigger screen, and nicer materials. Both devices have new designs with a large camera bar on the back. But the biggest change is on the inside. A new system on a chip called Tensor that replaces the Qualcomm SoC that has been used in Pixel devices for several years. The addition of a new chip means that Google is finally catching up to Apple and Samsung, which have both included their own in-house processors inside their smartphones for several years. Google said that its new Tensor chip will beef up its artificial intelligence capabilities, including in speech recognition speed and accuracy, as well as in the processing of photo and video. Another upgrade coming in this year's Pixel phones is an in-screen fingerprint reader for unlocking the device and authenticating payments. In addition to the new hardware design and revamped internals, the company is also debuting a new Material U user interface for the new Pixel phones. The new interface changes the button as well as interface elements design to color match the phone's wallpaper. The new phones are likely to be announced in October and released later in 2021. The new phones will be critical for Google, which despite releasing well-made devices, has ironically not made a dent into the hardware ecosystem for its own Android operating system. The new phones launch half a decade after the first models back in 2016. For Pixel fans looking for something sooner, the company also plans to debut a new low-cost Pixel 5a phone in August. The new devices will stack up against new foldable phones launching in August from Samsung, as well as Apple's next-generation iPhones launching in September with a smaller notch, faster processor, and much improved cameras. For Power On, I'm Mark Gurman.